Hooray for Hollywood! Hello there, I am Stan the Movie Man, and this is your WIMZ.com movie review. This week your votes at WIMZ.com sent me, your humble servant, to see G-Force. It stars a bunch of animated uh, uh, guinea pigs, not gerbils, I almost said gerbils, they're guinea pigs. And it features the voice work of Sam Rockwell, uh, John Favreau, Nicolas Cage, Penelope Cruz, Tracy Morgan, Steve Buscemi, and also the live-action talents of such folks as Will Arnett, Zach Galifianakis, and Bill Nighy. It is the story of a group of uh, guinea pigs who are in a special FBI program. They've got little devices that allow them to communicate with humans. Uh, they've been given special training and uh, they like to introduce themselves as uh, genetically altered special agents of the FBI, although they aren't really special agents of the FBI. Will Arnett, who plays Special Agent Kip Killian, uh, decides that the program is worthless and is trying to cut off funding. The uh, G-Force, as they refer to themselves, are trying to prove their worth to the FBI by uh, figuring out the plot of Bill Nighy's character, who is known as Saber. He uh, runs this giant appliance company, although before he was in the defense contracting business. And it appears he is putting a secret microchip in every household appliance that he sells, and he's the most popular brand in the world. And this uh, program is going to take over um, and it's going to connect all of these appliances, make them communicate with each other. Allegedly, because uh, it's going to talk to your computer and tell you what to buy at the grocery store, but the thought is that perhaps he has a more sinister plan in mind. Uh, it is, uh, it, the version I saw is in 3D. Um, I don't know that it's worth the extra money because, of course, it does cost extra cash to see a 3D feature. The 3D is pretty good, but it doesn't really add that much to the experience. The crowd got a bigger reaction from seeing one of the 3D trailers. There was a big woo at one point for one of the films. So, of course, it's, it's aimed primarily at kids. It's a Disney film, um, and it's pretty tame for adults. Now, Children will probably really enjoy it for the most part because of the cute uh, uh, guinea pigs and the three little mice in the pet shop. You may have seen the trailer for it. They, they speak in unison in these very high voices and they probably have the funniest line in the whole movie, although Tracy Morgan also knocks off a few zingers along the way as well. It's, it is, as I said, kind of mild, although there is some potty humor. One of the... Um, um, guinea pigs named Hurley, um, whom we meet in the pet store, has a sort of a digestive issue, and he tends to pop one off every now and then, if you know what I mean. Uh, and there's, there's a couple of poop references as well. So, but otherwise, it's a very mild uh, action comedy. There's a... a a car crash here or there that might scare some children, but I doubt it. Uh, and nobody ever ever gets hurt. Um, so, you know, it's it's okay. It's well done, uh, but it's not spectacular. Children will love it, so if you got youngins, say, five and up, take them to it. They'll probably really enjoy it. You are going to probably find it mildly amusing, but certainly nothing that you're going to be thinking about for very long after you leave the theater. That's why I'm giving it three guitars. Go to WIMZ.com to read my complete review as well as to vote on the movie. I'll see you next time. Till next time, Stan the Movie Man. Hey, y'all. See you later. Bye-bye.